Hi everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw Bright Blimp. Okay, I'm going to start off with a sketch real fast just to give me an idea of where I want to put this. And I'll try not to take too long because this is going to be uh, kind of fun, you know? I don't want to spend too much time on detail with this because uh, it's all about having fun with this one. Okay. Um, and I know you can't quite see this, but uh, this is mostly for me, is to make sure that I have everything where I want it to be. And then uh, I'll, I'll start with a, a Sharpie in a second, and you can see much better. Um, but again, this is mostly for me, just to make sure I get everything in here. Um, let's see, what else? I need this part right there. And then I need the um, uh, mohawk. God, I couldn't think of the word. I just drew a blank. Okay, let me do that. Let's do the rockets. Like that. Rockets under here. And then the, the bars. That's got the. What do you call them? The uh, ribbons. God, I couldn't think of the word. Okay. Uh, I think we're good with that. Then I'm going to switch over to a Sharpie now, and I'm going to show you some uh, cool uh, inking techniques that I like to use uh, because we have a little bit more room to play here. And uh, you're just going to have to trust me that I'm going to follow this around. Or you know what? I'm going to do the whole thing and then ink it like that, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm going to switch over to a Sharpie real quick. And I'm going to start with the body, because I know where that's going to be, and then we'll build off of that, okay? So, well, I'll tell you what, this cloud is for us. So let's do that here in the front. So, I'm just going to kind of make some cloud, you know? There is no right or wrong in this, you know? You just kind of, like, do what you want. Um, there's some sprinkles and stuff like that that I'm not going to worry about. I'm going to do those uh, with color. Um... But that'll just give us, like, a cloudy shape, you know? You just do what you want. Uh, here's the body. I'm going to follow it around like this. Follow my sketch. And since I'm on the body, I'm going to do the whole thing. And let's just go ahead and fill it all the way around. Like that. That way we know where it's going to be, okay? Um, let's do the uh, hand here. I'm going to build it off of this. And there's that tip like that. So I'm going to come in bring it around, basically making a cone, like that. And let's go ahead and do this one too, and it's because it's connected right there, we're gonna kind of bring it out a little bit, like like a, a balloon, because that's basically what it is, right? Connect it like that, connect it like that, and I can do the rest of the stuff now, now that I have that built. I can kind of do the clouds, you know, just like that, whatever you want to do, you know, there's no, no right or wrong. Um, let's go ahead and do the rockets and then we'll build off of that too, okay? So the rockets are going to be kind of a, something like this, then there's a, uh, um, a wing on it like that. And we just do the same thing over back behind it, like that. And that's the nice thing about what's in front and what's in back, and we can, we can hide some stuff, you know? So same thing, let's do this rocket right here. I'm going to loop it like this, come in, and then that that uh, wing is going to cover the back of it, and do the same thing for the front side. And there are the bars, the handlebars, so let's go ahead and do those. And I'm going to follow another line, just like that. This one's kind of back behind, so you can't see it as much. Um, and we'll just do like that for the handle. Um, it has a little round, um, uh, round part. <laughs> I don't know, I was trying to think of the word, but I guess round's a pretty good word, right? Um, there's some ribbons hanging off of it, but I'm going to do that with the sharper sharpie. I'm going to leave the thick ones, uh, for the outline, basically, okay? So now that we have that, let's go ahead and finish up the rest of the head. We're going to work all the way up like this. And that's where the strap's going to be. Then I'm going to draw the ears. 
like that. And I'm following my sketch, so that's why I know what's what and what goes where. There's his uh, mohawk, her mohawk, its mohawk, really, because we don't know what it is. I'm going to draw the eye like this. Let's see, the unicorn horn is in the front. We're going to horn out like that. And I'm basically drawing what I know is on the front and the back, so that way I can draw stuff behind. So like this, now that I do that, I can draw the other ear, because I know it's behind those two things. Okay. Same thing here, let's draw the mohawk. And I did a couple little bumps, and I'll show you why in a second. I'm just basically going to draw the entire outline and come back and do some details in a second, okay? There's uh, the mouth, the lip. I'm going to go up like that. Then we're going to connect it like this, okay? And now I can draw some other details uh, with the finer Sharpie. But actually, let's do one more thing. Let's do this uh, rainbow, okay? So I'm just going to kind of follow an arc around like this. And I'm going to do another side because it's dimensional, like that, okay? So now I'm going to switch over to a sharp sharpie to add a few more details that are going to make the big, thick outline stand out by, by not adding as much. So basically, like I said, this has got a uh, um, little manufacture line because it's a, a, a blimp. So it's got, like, creases in the... Uh, material. Um, that's the best way I can explain it. Just when you when you uh, have poofy material like this, it has uh, creases and folds that uh, to bend with the material. So I'm just going to kind of do some small little things like this. And it's basically just showing that uh, there's uh, creases in the material. I'm going to thicken this line up just a little bit. Again, just to make certain things stand out. Okay? Let's do it over here, too. There's a seam uh, on this edge right here. And so, same thing. I'm just going to add little... Little, uh... Little... Little seams, right? Uh, just like a... Lil Whip. These are my Lil Seams. I'm going to add his bridle right here. And uh, the front of his nose, I'm going to come around like that. And we'll draw the bottom edge too. And so now that we have that bottom edge, I can finish this up to that. And let's see, let's draw, draw where this bridle connects. And it's kind of like this, a little um, ring where everything connects to. Which is there? This this goes in his mouth. This is the uh, uh, harness that goes around everything else. And that's what this is. That's why there's two loops. Okay, let's draw the other part of the harness. It's going around his face. And see how it's got that little bump? That's why I like thick and thin lines and plan stuff like that. So uh, it'll stand out more. Okay. Now we're going to connect it over here and draw the top half of the harness. You know what we haven't done? Is googly eye googly and so now um, let's draw the back of his harness here connect it like that take this uh, bump and do it like that and that's kind of why I plan those those bumps you know just to, to have some fun with it okay and I'm gonna draw the back of his head here I'm gonna go ahead and connect this like that back of his head here so I could draw a seam like this to draw the front of his uh, face and draw some nostrils like that and let's go ahead and draw the, the unicorn horn lines unicorn okay um what else what else what else we need to draw his uh hair and his stripes in that, that rainbow right okay so let's do that let's draw let's see this is 3d-ish so we're going to do something like that and bring it up like this. I'm going to thicken this line up just a little bit again to make it stand out. And then connect it like that. Now it's a 3D uh, uh, mohawk. Why do I keep forgetting that word? Mm, poo poo crazy, right? Okay, and I'm just drawing some lines like this. And really, color should take care of this, but I'm going to do it for you so we can have some fun with it. 
And then now I'm going to draw his rainbows. It's rainbows. I keep saying his, but we don't know what it is. So I'm just going to draw like that. And, and it may get funky, but you know what? That's okay. It's, this is my drawing. You draw how you draw. I draw how I draw. Let's see. So I'm going to, I'm going to draw one line and I'm going to kind of follow this one up here. And that's okay if it goes off a little and bring it around like that. Look, it's not perfect, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. I draw how I draw. You draw how you draw. And I'm going to do this one again like this. And I think there's only three colors, right? The pink, uh, yellow, and green. And I think it's got one more little seam like that. I'm going to go ahead and do it just for the fun of it. You don't have to. But that's going to disappear into that like that. Okay, so last thing we get to do is it's, it's tail and uh, the streamers. And I'm just going to do some fun stuff like this. Then follow it back down. Do another one like that. And I'm just having fun with it, you know. And since I'm having fun with it and I can do whatever I want, I'm going to draw one back behind it. Pretty cool. Like that. And see how thick and thin it's going to stand out a little bit? That's what I like to do. So let's do some streamers over here. I'm going to kind of do something like that. I'm going to follow it back. And just with the streamers, the great thing is, if you go off and you're not exactly with the line, it's a streamer. You, you don't have to follow any rules for that. You just kind of do something that, that looks fun. And that's what I'm kind of doing here. Just kind of following uh, the idea, but still just having fun with with the, the flow. Like that. I'm going to hide this one back behind that. And this one, uh, because it's back behind everything, you don't have to draw it um, as, as much, but I'm going to do something just fun with it. Just kind of do like this. Right? Like the streamers are back like that. Back behind it. And we'll do one more since I all had three. And again, I'm just kind of showing that uh, that they're flowing everywhere, you know? All right, I say we color it. For now, that's Bright Blimp. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used. Or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.